Does the dynamic mic sound better than a condenser mic in an anterior room? Well, that's what you're gonna find out in this video. So we'll compare two Audio-Technica mics. One is the dynamic mic ATR2100X and the other one is AT2020 USB Plus, which is a condenser mic. During this video, I'll randomly be switching mics, so you might wanna wear a headphone to hear the difference. Oh, no, 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 no. The camera is focusing on this mic, so it should really be focusing on me. I should probably use manual focus. Uh. Before we start, let me tell you very briefly about this room. This is a very small room, about 11 square meter, and the only thing I have to dampen the sound is the carpet on the floor. Even though the price of these two mics are very close, how they capture sound is very different. AT2020 USB Plus is a condenser mic, so it has a diaphragm and a backplate inside it, and only the diaphragm moves to create the energy, which then converts to digital signal. On the other hand, ATR2100X is a dynamic mic and it has a coil inside it, which moves forward and backward to create the energy. For this feature, dynamic mics can typically handle louder sound than condenser mics. AT2020 looks a bit more stylish, whereas ATR2100X looks like a professional mic we often see on stage. I also find the mic stand of AT2020 easier to set up. AT2020 has a bigger blue light when it's on. On the other hand, ATR2100X has a smaller light, but it comes with an on-off button for muting the mic. The light actually doesn't turn off when connected to the computer, but it will mute the mic. You can also use an audio interface to record the audio via XLR output. Both mics have a headphone jack and a dial for controlling the volume of the headphone. AT2020 does not have a mute button, but it has a dial to change the balance between desktop audio and mic audio for monitoring. Both of these mics are cutout mics, so it mainly captures the sound from the front. So you do want to point the mics at the sound source and place them as close as possible for best result. AT2020 condenser mic has one output, USB-C, but ATR2100X has two outputs, XLR and USB, which means this mic can record to two devices at the same time. For example, one copy can be on the computer and another copy on the external recorder. So right now I'm taking a backup copy of this mic via XLR output to the Zoom H41. Not sure if you'd notice, but at the moment we have three different type of noise coming to the audio. So I left the windows open intentionally and you can hear the rain. We have a fan noise coming from the light and I also have a humming noise coming from the computer. To make it more obvious, I'm gonna turn on the fan that's one meter behind me so we can really hear the noise. So the fan is on now and I'm not expecting these mics to completely cut out the noise, but AT2020 condenser mic is sensitive so it's gonna pick up more of the fan noise compared to the dynamic mic ATR2100X. However, it's very easy to fix in post using the voice isolation tool in Resolve. I'll shut up for a sec now and let you hear the difference. So, so far the audio we heard from ATR2100X dynamic mic was captured via USB-C into the computer. But since this mic can take two copies of the audio at the same time, so we're gonna switch to XLR now. Oh man, I'm in the middle of a shoot. My son is up and I need to get the milk ready, so I'll be back in a tick. 24 hours later. Well, I didn't get a chance to finish the video yesterday, so we're doing the second part today. Now, in terms of settings, not much has changed. I still have the windows open. I have a fan noise coming from the light and we have a humming noise coming from the computer. So far, we haven't applied any effects to the audio, but let's apply some effects now to see how much better it can sound. And in real world, we're gonna do some post production most of the time anyway. So let's start with the voice isolation tool. I found a very small number like 10 or 15 does a great job to get rid of the humming noise or the fan noise from these mics. Such a small number doesn't distort the voice. You may need to go for a higher number depending on how much noise you have in your room. But the goal is to remove the noise without distorting the voice. Next, let's apply some EQ or equalizer. If you haven't seen an EQ before, so the way we read it is on the left hand side we have lower frequency that's where the humming noise mm, this type of noise lies and on the right hand side we have higher frequency like i basically cut some low end and boosted the high end for a bit clarity i also brought down some of the bad frequencies in the middle you can also use the doll for better visualization let me know in the comment below if you want to learn more about eq 
So, does a dynamic mic sound better than a condenser mic in an untreated room? Well, if you live in a noisy area, then a dynamic mic will be better for you because it gets rid of the background noise. But this mic is not as loud as the condenser mic. So I had to add 26 decibel in pause to make it sound as loud as the condenser mic. This can be a problem for live conference calls like Teams calls where we don't have an option to increase the volume without using an audio interface. An audio interface works like a middleman between the microphone and the computer. We gotta plug the mic to the audio interface and then the interface will send the signal to the computer. But that means additional calls and one more equipment on the desk. I found the condenser mic sounds a bit more natural and can capture a lot more frequencies than a dynamic mic. And using the voice isolation tool, I can get rid of some of the reverb I get in this room. Let me know in the comment below which mic sounded better to you. I got a question for you. How much you spend on your first mic? If you haven't bought a mic yet, how much you're willing to spend on your first mic? Anyways, that's all I had for today. If this video helped you decide which mic to buy, then don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more videos. If you're looking for some budget options, then check out the videos on screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.